Hello, 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 everybody. Pretzel Road here, and welcome back to the uh, Clean Up Crew Let's Play series. It's been a while since we've done one of these. Um, oh, it really, really has uh, has been quite a while. So, um, I guess to uh, catch you guys up, in case you've forgotten, in the last episode, uh, we made all of these train stations. Um, and actually, I realized while well, watching the footage of the last episode, and just now again, that that track right there that I just destroyed a couple of seconds ago, um, it actually um, was just going up and around like this, um, instead of going down like that, the way I wanted it to. Um, so we're just gonna fix that quickly. Um, good, so now that works. Uh, we can do that while it's uh, still light out, um, instead of having to deal with the darkness. And uh, I, I think the other thing that I want to do is we're just going to rip out this entire uh, industrial area, I think. So this is uh, something I've been wanting to do for a while now. Because industrial areas just pollute like crazy, and they don't really do much else. Um, you know, polluting is basically all they're doing. If we've got our um, we've got our new uh, farming industrial area, so we don't really have to we don't we don't necessarily have to deal with these because the industrial demand should now be taken care of. Um, so these are really just creating pollution now. They're just making this area dirty and, uh, unsuitable for residential building, which is not fun. So we're going to get rid of this. Um, I am going to leave the oil industry over there for now, um, over where it is for now. Um, and that's just to, um... Although it looks like, uh, actually, that's all kind of dying off now. I think they uh, got rid of all of their oil. So let's see. Um, we can do, like, that then, I guess. So now this does leave us with a little problem in that we've got a bunch of industrial uh, building uh, area uh, polluting... Uh, industrial type city service buildings that we do need uh, that these would normally go in an industrial area but since we don't have the uh, one of those here's what I think I'm going to do number one I'm going to move one of these over to here um oh sewage is uh, one of uh, new uh, Wastewater treatment plant is in order, so we'll uh, take care of that in a bit. Um, let's see, power we can actually replace. We've got a fair bit of money, so we should just be able to replace it all. Um, and I'm going to replace it with the um, geothermal power plant. Um, the the geothermal power plant is just a power plant that's uh, a little bit less uh, environmentally damaging. It doesn't create any pollution, and I believe it does actually create more power, too. Um, or what about a solar updraft tower? I was looking at one of these in another city that I'm playing in just uh, off-camera. I wonder about building a solar updraft tower. So that produces 240 megawatts. What is our total power production right now? Um, let's see. Our total power production, our total consumption is 310 megawatts. So we would need two of these. Or we could, where is my power panel? There it is. We could do, how many of these uh, would we need? Um, these produce 80 megawatts of electricity. So we would need, I think, four of these, which would take up about the same amount of space. 
but the upkeep would be more expensive. So let's just do a couple of these. And then we can get rid of all of the power plants. Um, I did build a geothermal power plant at one point, apparently. That was a smart move. So we can get rid of all of these power plants now. Um, and we, we're also supplementing that with these. Um, so that will be a good thing to remember, is that um, we're not... Uh, we don't actually need to compensate for all of the electricity um, because a lot of it is also being produced over along the coastline here. So, uh, with all of that out of the way, we'll now... Um, we will need a small, like, heavy industry type area, I think. But instead of actually placing industry stuff in there... I think we'll just use this as a utilities, um, the city utilities area. Uh, this is not going to be a particularly exciting episode, in case you can't tell. Uh, we're not really building any, you know, um, super flashy big projects today. Um, I do like those. Those are a lot of fun, um... But they're, uh, th there's really kind of a, uh, functional limit to, uh, how many of those projects I can do without also cleaning up the city a little bit. It's the, uh, cleanup crew, after all, and the, uh, the city was very poorly planned out from the beginning, so this is all just sort of helping to, uh, compensate for that. In fact, when do we unlock the eco ones? Ah, 36,000. Um, that is another thing, is that we need to focus on growth a fair bit more, I think. Um, it seems like we've been kind of beating around the bush on that, so we'll definitely need to be looking at, uh, growth. Um, that direct city growth, I think. Um, at some point in the near future. Oh, these things, that's not good. Greener city unlocked, oh. Have no polluting industry in your city, only office and specialized zones. Nice. Um, so, our, uh, our goal, I guess, has been achieved. So now we just need to wait until our... Um, uh, until this pollution goes away, which I believe at some point... Uh, I, I believe that over time this area will become kind of unpolluted. I could be wrong on that. Um... So well, let's let's actually check that right now and see. So I'm not sure if this will go away, but you can see right now what it looks like. This is really bad. Um, what's this? This is an eco one. Okay, th that's an eco wastewater treatment plant. Interesting. Um, interesting. Okay, so. It looked like that had more than I would expect from an eco uh, wastewater treatment plant. Um, but that's alright. So the other thing that I'd like to look at today, if we have time, which I believe we do, is I'd just like to take a look at the education metric. Because education tends to be um, something that you can fall behind on and then it demands a lot of uh, sort of uh, industrial areas. But it doesn't look like that's going to be a problem. Uh, you can see we've only got 3.6 uneducated uh, percent of our uh, citizens are uneducated. That's uh, pretty good. It would be nice if that were zero, but um, that's okay. 38.3% uh, educated. <sighs> I wish that we could uh, push more people into higher education, but that... At this point, that seems like that's more a thing that they're deciding that they don't care for, uh, more so than something that they can't get. Um, public library, I think we've only got one of those. We may want to uh, build more public libraries at some point. Uh, we'll, we'll think about that. Uh, university, we've got enough capacity. We should definitely begin growing that at some point. It is now two stars, and I believe we still only have one star buildings in here. 
All right, so uh, the university over here. Uh, in, in here right now, we're going to uh, probably want to, next episode, add some more buildings to it. As far as everything else is concerned, I think that we now... Yeah, as far as everything else is concerned, I think that we now have a pretty good city. We definitely are going to need to expand out. Uh, we can begin expanding out into this area. So, definitely look forward to that at some point. Um, we can get rid of this uh, old industrial zone now because it's completely useless. Uh, it no longer serves us. Uh, another thing that I did over here, while we're looking at the uh, district's view, I did this uh, in between episodes a while back, is I zoned this whole area, all of these uh, shopping mall areas, uh, and that was just to make them modern city center buildings. And the reason is because all of the... Um, um, the uh, high-density commercial that we had in here was beginning to become high-rise buildings, uh, and that was something that I didn't want, so uh, the modern city center keeps these looking big and powerful, which is, I guess it looks bigger than, like, shopping mall scale, but it's kind of nice to have these big buildings in here, I think, because it uh, really kind of highlights the contrast between these shorter buildings in the middle and the larger ones around the edges. Um, so... I just zoned them to Modern City Center to keep them from becoming like skyscrapers because that was what was happening without that. Uh, I think in the European, um, if if I had zoned it to European, I think it would have done the same thing. But um, they don't look quite as um, shopping mall ish, I guess. Uh, European ones tend to look very um, very old fashioned, which is not the style that we wanted here. So. That's the story behind that. Um, otherwise, let's take a look at how our uh, theme park is doing over here. It's 120 visitors per week. Not bad, not bad. Um, we could definitely consider building a park in the middle of the city at some point. So, yeah, th I think that that really basically concludes the episode for today. Um, we were mostly just going over some of the... Um, future plans for the city, we got rid of the industrial area. All in all, I would say, not an exciting episode, but a very productive one. So, if you enjoyed this episode and you enjoy the series, really, I guess this wasn't a particularly exciting video, but again, if you enjoyed the series, um, please consider uh, leaving a like on the video, uh, because it helps me know that you guys are still watching these videos and really enjoying them. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, so that I know that the channel is growing, with notifications on so that you know when videos come out. Um, let's check the pollution metric again, sorry, this is a little bit of a sidetrack. Yes, so it is shrinking now. Uh, the polluted area is shrinking. Uh, sorry, I got a little bit sidetracked there. But, yeah, uh, if you enjoyed, like, uh, share it with other people you think might be interested, because, uh, that way these videos make it out to more people. Um, you know, YouTube leaves uh, these videos as impressions on other videos, um, but it needs more data about users to know who to show it to. So if you wouldn't mind sharing it with other people so that um, YouTube has more points of data and I get uh, more views without uh, having to rely on the YouTube algorithm for it. Um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Notifications on so that you know that when videos come out. And until next time, have a nice day. Goodbye. <laughs>